Hey guys, we're back with another victim video series. In this case, my knight takes f3, says check, and I grab the rook. Takes f3, check, takes with the pawn, take the rook, check, comes up with the king. And let's count the pieces. At this moment, I will have two pieces and one rook, and my opponent has the same. And I should do something decent. And then I grab the bishop, right? I say next check and grab the bishop. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. I can say check and save the knight. This was easy. Now you immediately see that knight takes pawn. And it's a discovery check because the rook is under attack. And then you can come up with the rest so check with the queen king comes up this check with the queen is inevitable then it's important here check with the queen queen comes in front then again check with the queen so i'm thinking about queen f2 or maybe better idea is to first attack the queen and rook fork them and then uh, he plays of course he plays queen e8 to pin my knight then check the queen with uh, oh, okay no it doesn't work and then the, i was thinking check queen at f5 and uh, with the check the king with f5 queen f5 but then king goes to e7 and i have no concrete plan here right what else can i do i can play queen g6 right no threatening queen e6 mate so he has no time to grab my knight he should free up some square and then only then No, only then then what he plays queen e8 and i cannot my knight is not a threat anymore what if i directly say check with the queen he defends with the queen i say check again with the queen and f5 no he has to move the king to only a square which is which is no then is it the only square and the king should go to d8 eventually because e8 okay so I can say check with the queen and bring the knight in so he goes to no he doesn't go to e8 he goes to d uh, d8 he goes to e8 and then if i say check at the g6 he comes back to d7 and i don't want to repeat the position so mm, if i was able to fork without giving up my queen it was awesome so let's try it once more i go to fork he plays queen e8 i take the pawn with check he has only one valid square to go which is e7 with the king and then I don't know what to do with this king at e7. Uh, I've also noticed that queen uh, g6 is completely trash because after queen g6, he just takes my knight with the knight. And yeah, and I'm done. I am completely behind. Another idea might be that to go in and take his queen with the knight but no it's not interesting so there is only one option apparently queen f7 check or maybe knight f7 in very rare case knight f7 it might be an option but i don't see as it as an option so knight f7 queen e8 i take the pawn with check king 
cannot go to d8 but it can go to e7 and i really have nothing spectacular here queen f7 this is just calculation pure calculation queen f7 check because you know that the plan is to win the exchange or mate but if we win exchange we will um, be happy because we are we are down a pawn and but not a piece so the so knight f7 fails apparently what about queen f7 queen f7 check uh, comes in front uh, okay uh, there are two options either comes to no, uh, yeah, there is only one object, uh, queen e7 in front of queen f7. And then at this moment, what can I do? I can say check with the queen. King goes on. Hmm, I really don't see what to do next. But let's do it. I don't see any other option. I mean, this is the only option. So I also see one thing, I can get up the knight, that's true. But it's not a fantastic uh, take because, because uh, he can escape. Okay, maybe it works right now. Queen f7 check. King doesn't go to d8 why it doesn't go to d8 because if it goes to d8 i say check with the knight and then if he attacks my knight i grab his bishop yeah it's good oh it goes to d8 so i say check with the knight okay what was the continuation from here the point is that after here if uh, it goes to attack to my knight for example goes here i can take this bishop and after he takes i take this pawn and i win the rook so he couldn't go after that after the knight he also couldn't grab the knight but well, this isn't the critical continuation the critical continuation was this maybe because in this case again i grab the bishop and after queen goes here there are two options. One may say that I take this one. This is one good option, but he takes my knight. And I take his uh, rook. Or a simple option is just to exchange and then win the rook. And then you are up a whole lot. Let's go to the next one. Here should be mate, right? We are almost mating our opponent. So check with the knight. If king goes away, I take the rook with check and then take the bishop. So he is taking my knight. Then I take the rook. I take the rook with check and there is no way to answer it except that accepting the sacrifice. Then I check with the bishop. King goes back. Then I mate it. Easy peasy. Alright, it's very easy just some calculation there was no other line and you should uh, my queen didn't have any place to go so i didn't need to think about moving queen immediately i ignored that and then what is the possible option just to give check there were two possible checks with rook or with knight with knight was good because you open another piece into you can bring another piece into play open a line and bringing the bishop bringing the rook and then the next check was of course with the rook and then with the bishop and then with the queen it was easy peasy for puzzle i mean if it was in a game maybe i couldn't see that so this is two check and mate check with the queen now check with the rook takes check with the queen if goes back mate in the seventh rank if defends with the bishop ow oh. ouch if defends with the bishop what if i take the bishop what if i take the bishop directly it's a piece no it's not a piece 
I can also say check. Yeah, I can say check. If we defends with the bishop in this case, I can say check with the queen at uh, f5. If it defends with the bishop in this case, then I go rook b8 and, and then I repeat my pattern. There is no way to prevent this. Okay, my first thought wasn't this. My first thought was, okay, first thing you see is this. Takes and then you say check. And if he was going to do something nonsense like this, like this, then I was happy. But... He do something sensible, defending with the you know, bishop. And no, I had nothing. Uh, because I'm also on check, I should either capture it this way or that way. It doesn't matter anyway. Uh, if this way it takes, takes, and uh, he is open whole material. So, rook b8 is an idea, but that doesn't work. So, you should have this idea of rook b8 anyway. And then I saw that, okay, I can reroute the queen such that he cannot block with the bishop at the c at the b3 this is important like if he was okay i don't know what other option is there except bishop here and we saw what happened here i mean the other option was to bring the rook there that engine so shows but it's very stupid so we have a good run so far and uh, this one i can grab everything right I can grab the bishop with rook if the, he takes with the queen I say check with the knight and win his queen so he doesn't take with the queen he takes with the rook I pin it and win it Count the pieces. Yeah, we are off a piece then. Let's take it. No, bring the other rook, right? It is pinned. Just bring the other rook. And we need with the next check. I can directly, of course, say check, but it doesn't bring me anything because the king escapes and then I'm not in time. But even if I don't say check... The king escapes anyway, right? The king escapes. That's not good. That's not what we are aiming for. I mean, if I don't say check right now, king goes d8. D1. D8. Sorry. If I uh, I, I was uh, thinking about rook mm, d8, then king goes d1. King goes d1. I don't see a good continuation so i was lucky so far maybe i just uh, attack it with the knight a still king goes to d1 a still king goes to d1 and i take it he takes i take back and he takes and then we are a cool i say check with knight king goes to d1 uh, everywhere king goes to d1 that's the problem that's the problem big problem so if i say check directly with the knight king goes to d1 then i grab the rook with the knight and he has to take with the queen he has to take with the queen other one was the king cannot take because my queen is there he takes with the queen and then i do this sneaky move queen e4 attacking the rook and threatening somehow checkmate and at the um, b8 if he moves the rook uh, gets rid of the attack then i go queen b8 saying check and this sounds very promising let's do it so i take no uh, okay b1 i say b8 i mean b1 so i take and then attack the rook okay no it's no, i think i cannot somehow mate it i i can somehow mate it but oh exactly this was the place that i stopped calculation queen b1 it was just so promising move that i didn't uh, continue queen b1 uh, queen in front then rook check okay it stopped but 
the continuation is not that trivial because uh, he at this moment after this move he can play rook there and i should be careful i should first take to the queen because uh, okay maybe this also works everything works okay it's fine so we are done guys